Hi, today we're going to talk about diagraphs and diphthongs, long vowels and short vowels. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon to get our latest updates. Today I've combined diagraphs and diphthongs into one complete chart and I call it vowel combinations. To learn everything about it, stick around to the end so I can teach you step by step. I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, vowel sounds and um, I'm, I apologize first of all for not getting back sooner but there are so many questions that I've been getting I'm trying to answer them one by one so let's get started it is very simple to differentiate between short and long vowel sounds let's start with long vowels first and then I will tell you what is not a long vowel that will be easier a long vowel is the sound of the vowel that says its own name letters in the alphabet are a e i o and u that is log vowel that's all you need to remember anything other than that sound is a short vowel okay except for a because a has different variations like in a and in a uh, it has different variations with the a sound so so keeping that in mind but just in general rule is that a e i o and u is long okay like the alphabets the sound the letters in the alphabet a e i o u the short are a, e, e, o, and o. So if you do not remember it, the simple way to remember is remember the words that are associated with it. Okay, so we have bat, bet, bet, bot, and butt. So each of these B's, all the B words that I have put here are short vowel sounds. You can use other examples of other words. But do not use P because put in P makes this long O sound. That's simple to remember. So this is all that we do with short vowels. And there are many different words that kids come across as they grow bigger um, with bigger words with short vowels. But the majority of the words may be a long vowel sound because there are different sounds, diagraphs, and diphthongs. So now we are going to move on to long vowel sounds. And I had so many questions and so many confusions with the long vowel sound because of one problem maker and that problem maker is diphthongs so one of your moms had a question about digraphs so that you guys were like wait a minute so now we have digraphs too and now we have some other words too and it is very confusing so let me show you guys the long a words so look at long a and look at how many types of words actually make the long a sound so long A sound is A. So look at acorn. Here we have the two vowels that break apart and make the sound A again in bake. Aid, bay, hay, eight, and hair. Hair is um, a little different sound, but look at the sound of the A sound like in vain, rain, beige. Okay. Moving on to long E sounds. Look at how many letters actually make the long E sound. Okay, E itself is a long E sound, so we, then double E will make peel, E and A will make peach, E split will be here, these delete, Y is also considered as a sound. So W, Y, G, and H, these are considered as vowel sounds. Cherry, field, DC, E and I, I and E, okay? And don't worry about this, um, there's uh, notes I have pictures of these on my page so you guys can grab those from there i sounds again i e i e here with the split i g h i g h y and i e like words like all the words here however end in the word i same thing with a e i o u they all sound one sound i idea hike you hear the i in it thigh you hear the i in it sign again i by dry try all of them are i tie is i long o sound oval you hear the o see all these six types of letters that make the words make the sound o so oval arose roach snow toe although all of them are o's right and here the sound changes so we are going to talk about deaf tongues in a bit that these are the long o and the short o this is the U sound. U is again six different types of letters. Vowel combination makes the sound U. U as in unit. 
U and E split is Q. U and E together makes Q duo glue. E together duo. E and U euro. U and I fruit recruit. So let's talk about the million dollar question. There's so much confusion. So first let's talk about diagraphs. In our previous videos, you have seen diagraphs with consonants. Now we are talking about vowel diagrams. So they're just so confusing. So that's why I've taken so many days to break this down for you. So diagraphs are nothing but two letters that make one sound. One sound. Remember that this is the only difference between diagraphs and deaf tongues because that's where the confusion starts. Okay, so diagraphs, two letters make one sound. You see here, double E makes one sound, E. E and A makes one sound, E. Head, like E, okay? What is diphthong? Diphthong are two vowels that actually make two sounds, okay? And there will be ma many places that it's mentioned that two vowels make one sound. That's not true. Diphthongs make two sounds. The only difference is you're moving from one sound to the other and the first vowel makes a stronger sound, the second vowel makes a lighter sound. Coin, do you hear the oi? You don't hear o oh or e in this. You hear o oh and then you're going to e. Coin, because the sound of o oh is stronger and the sound of i is weaker. Again, in this word day, you can hear, this can only be a, you can hear a, and then you can hear e, a. So to understand diphthongs, because the sound has to be in one syllable, diphthong is making the sound both together in one syllable. This is so important with diphthong, okay? To understand that, you need to understand what is a syllable. Syllable is when you're pronouncing one unit of pronunciation forming the whole part of a word. What that means? That means syllable by itself has three syllables in it. And if you have confusion on how to find out how many syllables a word has, say the word aloud and clap with it. Syllable. Coin. Coin. One word. Marker. Marker. Two syllables. Okay? He, ter, two syllables. So the diphthong has to make its sound in the, f in the only one syllable. It has to make the sound in one syllable. There are diagrams that has 18 vowel diagrams. Diagrams are A as in chain, A as in hay, E as in she, E as in bread and thread, I as in pie, A as in eight, U as in tool and school, and U as in book and shook, O as in cloud and proud, O as in cow and how, to O as in toe and foe, U as in clue and sue, A as in they, U as in fruit, O as in boy, O as in foil, O as in sauce, O as in fawn. But the questions that you guys have is how do I know what is where, which part is the diphthong, which part is the diagraph, and I already explained that to you. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can combine both and have one chart ready for your child. So that way there is no confusion. You don't have to go anywhere else. Just refer to that one chart and that one sound. And that's why I'm going to go talk about diphthongs in a bit. Here, I have combined everything that you need for your children in this sheet. And you are going to get this in the group. You can come to the group and I'll do a PDF for this so you can download that. What is this? This is a complete list of vowel combination diagraphs and diphthongs. Let's look at what the diphthongs are. So here we have the eight diphthongs and I'm going to go through each one with you and I apologize if this is not in your native language but I mostly I've done this in Hindi. I hope you can translate this and make sounds in your native language if you can. Combination of E and a. Uh. This is E and a. Uh. The sound that it makes is E. So we have E. Now in E, we have so many different types of words. And this again, I've told you, this is the, the complete list and you don't have to go anywhere else. So this is all you got to learn. So E, me, he, she, double E, E they're separated by consonant, like here, these, E, you can hear the E in it. E and A, like fear and ear, E like berry family, E, like in field, diesel, 
e like in deceit ceiling okay next is a combination of u uh and a uh, u or u there is no other sound for u in diphthongs okay so that's why i have combined these together so this here is u unit uniform this is u u and u and then this is u and this we can hear the sound of u and u together so let's see here u unit uniform unite u fruit okay the u and i makes the sound of u again fruit u and e like q makes the sound of u u and e split together cube use e and u euro feud e and w do few this the short o and the long o the only difference between the short and the long is the short o is very fast it's book took shook hook and the long o is long you can hear it like tool school moon boon there's a deeper o in it like the long o in hindi next is the sound eh that's the combination of eh and uh is eh okay so this is not a this is eh that's where the confusion arises because here we have eh and here we have a okay so this is pair fair you hear eh in it eh okay so remember eh we have care we have e as bear we have there and here so that's the a in it okay the next one is a so with a we have a we have several we have a we have a corn data ape we have a split that is whale pale then a and i like pale rail which you are aware of a hey they say e create great hey they and way and then we have ei that is again vein rain see it makes the same sound of a right same sound of a long a eight wait next sound is oi because we don't have oi in, in diagraphs technically there this is like a pure diphthong sound and there is no other sound i cannot put it under long o i cannot put it under long i i don't know where to put it so that's why i had to break this down into all the diphthongs and then talk about it so the oi is boy toy oi in the oi here is coin foil noise okay the i so this is the long i so this all these words are making the same sound as i very simple so this is pi die tie i split is like lime time fine i g is sign resign i g h high bright sight right y is my cry sky i e as ice cream island and then the word i like me i next is the sound o okay so this is the long o this is not u and this is not oi so that's why it's separated so it's the o that is a problem word it's the u that's a problem word because it's u is a little different so o again has all these sounds all these words that make the same sound o no go low o like loan and groan you can still hear o o e split is stone bone you can still hear o o as in so toe you can still hear o o e as in toe fo and joe o u g h as in do do and all do last one you know, ah and u will make ow or ow so ow is bound hound round house mouse so your mouth is opening very wide on this one ow as in now how howl and brown now you may ask what is the difference between this o w and this o w the spellings are the same the sounds are different so this one is long o this one is ow as an ouch okay so both of them have the same sound these two whereas here all of them have the sound o so to it's very slow see the word slow itself is very slow o this one is ow like come here now like that okay so i hope you guys understand what these are and again 
the reason I have combined all these together is so that way a little bit of confusion is reduced. You do not have to refer to the digraphs anymore. I mean, according to me, if you are getting confused. So this digraph chart here, you don't have to refer to that if it is confusing you because all these words of the digraphs are in here for you. So you don't have to go anywhere else, don't have to do anything else, just do this and you will be okay because digraphs don't tell you the sound. Digraphs only tell you the word. You have to figure out the sound. If you refer to this chart that I made, you're going to know the sound while you're teaching your children so you don't have to be confused about anything else. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to our channel. That really helps out our channel so we can keep going. Thank you very much.